I found this can of rubberall at the Red Rooster in the dumpster, and I, I had to get it because it can make a perfect container for making charcoal. And I happened to just go through my wood box. I'm keeping some pieces of wood just for, I don't know, for whatever I need wood for. But then I've also decided I should, I should finally split out the wood that is actually really nice. And that will go into this 1972 cooler. Of course, the foam has all died on it, so it can't really be used as a cooler anymore. So that just leaves this. I've put a bunch of wood into the burn pit, and I've filled this up with quite a good amount of wood. Now this is just a hunch, but my theory is that it would be good to use up all the air inside of here, all the oxygen. So I'm going to put some rags in there, I'll light it, and then I'll put that on there. And hopefully that can spend all the oxygen in there. And so hopefully whenever it burns, it won't be burning the wood as much. Smell all that oil and linseed oil. <laughs> That handle's gonna go. Oh, yeah. Now this wood, unfortunately, is a pretty big annoyance because it just it doesn't burn with anything. Oh, it's starting to go. Oh my god, a little too hot. That really startled me. I heard that just go off all of a sudden in the workshop, so it seems it really reached its boiling temperature quite quickly. Wow, that worked a treat. We'll let this cool off overnight and see how that does. Oh, 
shit. Wow. Creosote. So that, that is a piece of fabric or a, one of those blue shop towels that I put in there. Two by four. Piece of oak. Pine. There's a little knot I put in there, fully carbonized. It's so light too. This would be maple. This would be cottonwood. More cotton wood. I can't believe that worked. It's a good like five pounds of that stuff too. That's nice. And it is thoroughly Charred. It's not a piece of oak. Uh, that was a piece of oak. That was a hexagonal piece that I put in there. It actually rings. Could be used for artwork almost. More of these. And there's no goop at the bottom. I would like to in the future make an electric kiln using solar power, a way to store solar power. Ooh, look at that. Well, anyway, I would like to um, be able to extract any of the oils. Now that is cool. That's the outside of a piece of oak. Like, um... Like this section right here. I cut that off of a piece of a uh, log. Huh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. I probably could have actually had like three or four of these five gallon buckets in there and charred them all at the same time, but all I had was one bucket. I'll keep an eye out for another one.